Aloha. Good morning. This is uh, Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. Uh, welcome. Aloha Friday. The week just flies by again, as I mention every week. Well, today I'm very excited. I uh, well wanted to welcome Jen Onishi um, here on our Friday morning talk, and she is the Director of Corporate Relationships and Partnerships for the Hawaii Food Bank. And as you know, we've been very active the last five years, our company. Um, we started with doing a Thanksgiving drive. And, you know, during COVID, I thought, how can we give back since we, you know, we weren't able to do a lot of social socialization with charity events so we actually have a uh, drive here at the company for every new appointment our agents um, go on uh, we give a free meal to every you know to the food bank so we have so many meals we've given um, over the past year I think it's like 8,500 meals which is amazing and um, thank you for all my agents here who've supported that program too but today we want to cover a couple of things with Jen. Um, of course, they have an incredible food drive day coming August 27th, we're going to touch on. And maybe you can talk about, you know, a little bit about Food Bank, the history, the statistics on what you provide for the community here, and, you know, the importance of the food drive. You know, so I'm just going to, on that note, Jen, I'm going to let you talk about um, the Hawaii's food uh, drive. Thank you so much for having me this morning. And first of all, I just want to thank you and your agents for supporting us over the past five years, um, especially during COVID when we couldn't gather the virtual food drives um, really helped us a lot get through. So um, thank you so much. And um, yeah, just a little bit about the food bank. So we've been around for nearly 40 years. And as you all know, the food banks played an important role in helping those in our community struggling with hunger. Um, over the past couple of years, um, as you know, as you know, we we didn't do our um, food drive in person, so we're really excited to bring um, to continue to do a virtual food drive, but also bring back four of our community sites. So we have um, all the information on our um, HawaiiFoodBank.org food drive um, page, and so you can find out those four locations. There's one in Kahala one in Windward City um, Shopping Center, and then one in our Waterfront Plaza kind of flagship location, and um, as well as uh, Town Center Mililani. So if you could bring your you know, food and funds to the, those locations on August 27th, that um, is gonna run from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And um, just to share a little bit about who we are continuing to serve as we begin to emerge from you know, this unprecedented time, uh, we continue to serve 50% more people than we did prior to the pandemic. Um, that's one in six residents, Hawaii residents that struggle with hunger, including one in four keiki. So Hawaii's um, had the second highest rate of child food insecurity in the nation. Um, so the need is great and we truly appreciate any support that we can get every dollar counts through our partnership with Feeding America, we can really stretch the dollar. Um, so for every dollar donated, it provides food for more than two meals. So yeah, so we really appreciate anybody that can come out on food drive day or just going online to give virtually um, is also wonderful. No, no, it's great. And I was reading your impact statement here and it said, you know, last year Hawaii Food Bank distributed 25 million pounds of food wow so how how do you know what's the operations look like you know what other involvement can people volunteer with hawaii food bank because oh, that's yes. labor yeah yeah so i mean we can't do it alone so we we have 20 uh not 20 sorry 200 um partner agencies those are soup kitchens churches school pantries um across the state um so so you could get involved on our page. We have volunteer opportunities to do distributions, to also um, come to the warehouse and help with packings. Um, yeah, so those are all, and it could be a group or it could be individuals, like we welcome and we really couldn't do it without our volunteers that come in daily. Um, and just so that people know too, so you, you know, of that 25 million pounds of food, uh, during COVID, we, we started a partnership with Hawaii Farm Bureau and um, 5.3 million pounds of that was fresh produce. So um, yeah. we were, yeah, so we were able to support our local farmers. Um, we got some donated from national farm, um, you know, food pr providers as well, but we were able to, you know, 
give back to our local community in that way as well. Oh, that's amazing. And I noticed in your write-up too that you're a certified member of Feeding America. And, you know, you often see that with very large corporations in America. Yeah, so Feeding America, we are the um, Hawaii State uh, member. So that being said, um, we service, you know, Oahu and Kauai. And then um, because we're a statewide, um, you know, service partner, we also partner with uh, Maui, um, the Maui Food Bank and the Food Basket on Hawaii Island as well. So, um, yeah, and through Feeding America, we get tremendous support across the network. And um, not only through additional contributions from them, but the, the network that they have on the mainland can help us um, with the food connections as well. Fantastic. And then what is the, what is the goal of the food drive this year? <laughs> what are we trying to obtain here? <laughs> so really every dollar counts, but we did set a, a goal of a million meals. So I know we've, we've done that in the past. Um, and again, every dollar makes a difference to a family in need and uh, $1 provides food for more than two meals. So um, yeah, so a million meals will go a long way in our community for the, the Keiki and then the Kapuna and the families that are struggling with hunger today. Yeah, it, it's wonderful. And I, I just feel um, so thankful we can contribute because, you know, there's a lot of charities out there, but I think it really starts with people having a great diet. Love to hear there's fresh foods now being distributed, you know, because it all, you know, to have to people be fueled with good food so then they can go about what they need to do on their day. I think that's really important. And, um, you know, thank you for being with us, Jen. And it's August 27th from 8 to 2 p.m. virtual, all the four different areas. And we'll do a, um, a link here to your website at the end of our broadcast today. So it's easy for people um, to find more about it and to get organized for the 27th. And what should they, like canned goods, what kind of things would you tell people to go into their pantry and look for? Oh, that's a great question. So yeah, we would love um, any canned proteins like tuna, fish, canned vegetables and fruits um, and rice, uh, usually in those two or five pound bags so that our partner agencies can easily turn those around. So those are, are some of our most needed items in terms of food. Wonderful. Well, thank you for today. And as I mentioned, we end it with, we share, um, beautiful photos one of our agents takes every week and uh, I'll just put that up on the screen and what was very interesting today was um, how you know we talk about food and nutrition and you know with the birds you know I, we don't often take time really to see those little creatures out there and yet birds are an essential part of Hawaii's ecosystem as we know as pollinators and seed dispersal of many plants and keeping a, a variety of insects in check and she had just um, taken beautiful photos of these birds and excuse me if I don't pronounce them correctly but this is a, mun a munia feeding on grass a beautiful colored male house finch and Honolulu city birds the elegant white tern and the teeny and colorful red billed leothrix um, and I thought they were just gorgeous and thank you again Marianne for your photos and that's all about our ecosystem as human beings too, right? And all working together so everyone lives a healthy life. <laughs> but um, everyone have a wonderful weekend and thank you, Jen. And um, we just feel so privileged that we can contribute every week to your cause too. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.